Now I want to talk about the loop collections, uh, which is a high order collection in the quantum field theory. So uh, before the, the introduction of the loop collection, we only consider the Turing level, which is the best to the collections to the Bauman diagram, but there will be some good version shows of the uh, amplitudes and the corresponding Bauman diagram shows which you really consider the loop collections also. So first of all, some of the data that some stop with the um, calculation of the loop collection and loop integral. First of all, we'll do the diagram on the uh, binary corresponding amplitude using the Bauman loop and the the next step, we will introduce the Bauman parameter uh, for the easy loop momentum. There are some of the identities, the mathematical identities with the integrals, introduce some of the new parameters that are asked, and the, such as the one over the AB, uh, which is the product in the denominators, uh, other some of the products of the many propagators because of the loop diagram. And it can be expressed with these new parameters that are asked, that are, uh, that such as the BOOM, and the standard delta function. So from that, uh, we can uh, we are on this mindset of the denominators from the propagated terms that are the uh, such a form. D is the denominator uh, as a uh, product of the several propagator. And we can uh, we are the mindset of the such is uh, denominators uh, as a loop momentum L. Uh, the number of the loop momentum is the corresponding the number of the loops and there are additional terms, which is uh, some locations sort of the pool deltas and the uh, small super division plus size epsilon will be here. And if there are some several uh, propagated terms and there will be some the uh, powers of the such a D will be uh, introduces. And the next step is the uh, uh, also, making the numerator terms uh, expressed in terms of the loop momentum L, and uh, we, we will the introduce sort of the Euclidean uh, momentum so with the weak rotation, which is the uh, introducing of the imaginary times, and then we can uh, use sort of the particle coordinate integrations to, with the such Euclidean uh, coordinate for the momentum. And uh, uh, we often use that as some of the cutoff uh, momentums, uh, and uh, there will be some divergences that appears in the looped correction, but there are the other uh, approach, which is the dimensional regularization. Uh, let's introduce the D dimensional integral for the loop momentum standard, such a terms to be appeared as the uh, volume elements of the uh, integrals, and that there will be some of the propagated terms that will be already uh, of signs in terms of the loop momentum R, and then also there are some Euclidean uh, coordinates. And uh, such as identity for the D dimensional uh, some integrations, there will be some of the gamma will be appear because of the D dimensional spherical coordinates integration. And uh, such as the gamma functions of the two minus uh, D over the two uh, bombs uh, can be expanded as a uh, some epsilon, which is epsilon, it defines that as the four minus d, uh, because the dimension is the both so epsilon go to the zero uh, limits, and the there will be the pole will be the peer uh, at the epsilon go to zero limits because of this term, and the, uh, also there are some of the uh, divergence in the dimensional regularization, so we will add the counter terms to cancel the divergence, and then we can explain the learning coupling constant using the uh, regularization grid equations and the some of the value function. So uh, to be specific, let's take about some of the examples of the loop corrections in the QED. The first example is the radiation, also called the So there will be some of the radiations that might possibly in the external locked long line, and there are the two possible diagrams as as some of the incident electron and the outgoing electrons, and there will be radiation so bottom will be still appear. And we can characterize sort of the corresponding amplitude from this diagram. Uh, there will be some additional uh, Bellman propagator distance and distance will be appear. And we should consider that some of the photons, six of photons that are the radiation. And uh, if we uh, consider some of the cutoff uh, as uh, some of the upper bounds of the loop uh, momentum of such a case, then we can assign the, the closed options, uh, some of the ingoing is electrons, the ongoing electrons with the uh, some radiation photons can be expressed as a double logarithms. 
And uh, because the queue scales uh, such as cutoff, uh, will be go to the infinity string ultra balance the limit. So there will be the sum of the divergence to so the appears in the low uh, double logarithm. And also there will be the sum of the missed keys, so which is the virtual photo mass. So there will be the sum of the IR um, implied limits will be appear, but such as the IR limits can be considered with the tox functions, which is a cube in the next uh, example. So if the tox functions, we will give some uh, correction for the magnetic moment. Uh, which is z factors for the sum uh, relation between the spin and the uh, some of the magnetic moment. So uh, there will be some of the loop corrections. One loop correction of the task function can be expressed like that. Uh, there will be also some of the additional Fermion propagator. So we can observe the Fermion propagators during the amplitude. Also, we should consider that um, some of the proton propagator from here and the amplitude is in here. Uh, from that, uh, some of the introducing of the loop momentum and uh, also loop momentum uh, expressed in terms of the loop uh, parameters around the Euclidean that are coordinated with the weak rotation. Then we can have signs of the uh, some of the form factors which is the coefficients for that uh, vertex function and the such a form factor, meaning of the form factors are. Uh, some um, correction for the magnetic moments and electric moment respectively. So it gives some of the flux simple the z factor. And the there will be the anomalous z factor correction for the order of the power will appear. And the problems sort of see such as uh, uh, anomalous energy factors in the mirrors appear that cause the uh, mirror z factor anomaly. And there's uh, some uh, inconstant between the expectation and the exper uh, experimental uh, measured values. And the next example of the loop collections is the electron subpanels, which gives a collection for the electron mass. So one loop state collections can be uh, diagrams can be uh, expressed like that. And the corresponding diagram has a baromian uh, propagator and the proton propagator. And uh, if we introduce the loop momentum, then there's some of the weak rotations, then the dimension of the legalization, and the dimensionalities uh, can be expressed in terms of the, some of the loop momentum. And the uh, it gives that uh, the pole sort of the denominator, pole of the propagators and the denominators is the really stiff. So that means that the mass have uh, some of the steps. So there are some bad mass and the physical mass with the steps, and the, such a shift can be expressed as a counter term. And the final example of the QED one loop collection is the proton sub energy, which gives that the coupling constant these uh, collections. Uh, so the proton sub energy one loop diagrams can be expressed like that. And the corresponding diagram has the two fermion propagators, this thing. And there's the similar stuff that we can introduce the, of the loop momentum and the uh, weak rotation. Then there will be the some a charge and the coupling constant correction is the order of solar power can be still calculated. And also we can assign the learning coupling constant. And also a uh, similar process for that the non abelian gaze the boson sub energy also we can assign the learning coupling constant. And in some several previous video, uh, we so that there are some of the different behaviors that are learning coupling constants of the abelian case and non abelian case. So such so a loop collection gives that there's some sort of parameter shifts and the, there are some stuff sort of the calculation of the loop integrals with the similar uh, Bayman parameters, weak rotation, dimensional regularization, and discount terms of thing.